Hello everyone, this is Tammy. Today I'm going to be cutting out a wild card and uh, one of my favorite cartridges. Um, it is the wild card on page 62 and it is the package. So I'm going to be cutting out the um, present and then I'm going to cut out on the frame, I'm going to cut out the tag. Then on the icons, I'm going to cut out this bow for it. And I'm going to cut out this piece here. It's It actually layers right here on top of the package so you can have a different color. I'm going to cut that out on pattern paper. But I'm going to lay everything out on my gypsy so I can cut it out on one mat. Uh, I know where I'm going to place everything. So I have a bunch of stuff on there right now. I have the the package, I have the icon, the bow, and the tag. Now I'm going to get that other piece and that would be right here. This is the front piece. Now I'm cutting everything out at seven inches. I will cut out the envelope that matches it too. Okay, I'm going to cut that out at seven. Now I'm going to place, the reason I put these all up here, I'm going to place that on, on white paper. Now I want to um, cut this out too on pattern paper and I want to put it on the bottom so I'm going to rotate this um, I'm going to rotate it at 90 degrees and put it there so um, that's how I can get it easily to fit on one mat and I'll put my pattern paper here and my white paper there and I'll cut it all out okay here are the pieces I've cut out um, I'm going to, let's attach this to my ace, let's see here, to my, present, this is really, these cards are so easy, okay, so I have folded this, I've used my fold lines, now, um, I'm going to stamp something on here. I'm going to have to look and see what I want to stamp there. And then, what I could have cut this out in a different color, but what I thought would look really cute on this is um, to use the Versamark and emboss on it. And it's really easy. Uh, let me show you. I'm going to take my Versamark. Now, I want to uh, do the whole thing. So, I'm going to use this turquoise glitter. So what I do, I actually need a scrap piece of paper. Okay, here is my paper. I'm just going to do this half at a time, and it'll be easy. So I'm just going to rub the Versamark pad all over, and then I'll just do half at a time, and then the other half. And it kind of gives me a really nice uh, glittery paper. So I think it'll look nice. Um, I'll just, let's see, we'll sprinkle it, we'll sprinkle it in here. And let's see. So I can have something to hold on to, I'll just do half at a time. Okay, and I will um, use my heat gun and I'll finish this and be back in a minute. Okay, here's my finished uh, ribbon. So I'm going to glue that on. And um, would have been a little easier. You can see just a little white through it um, if I had done it on an aqua paper. But this way I can do it on white and it's easy. I have some zip dry glue. I'm going to put that on um, so that it doesn't wrinkle my paper. My glue is just about drying out. I really like this. It's it's almost like using um, the glue gun, but I don't have to put up with the heat. So, okay, let's attach this. even. Okay, and I have um, 
this stamp, Sweet w Wishes. It's uh, my pink stamper stamps. And I'm going to use this little teal color I have. I look to see what would match. And I'm going to stamp. I think I'm going to stamp it like that. Okay. And yeah, I think that'll look nice. I'm going to get a blue jot. And let's put it on here. And let's attach it right there. Okay. That is my card. I'll make an envelope to match. And uh, simple and easy. And of course, a wild card. They're so simple. I wanted to show you the envelope that I did cut out. And I cut it out in another polka dot um, pattern paper, white on one side, to kind of go with the card, just a little different. Um, I did use um, this um, lick and stick on the top. Now, what I did is I did cut this out at seven inches. I did go ahead and cut another one out at seven inches. I used an aqua one, uh, the aqua color. And then what I did is I just cut the aqua, um, just the um, bow out so that I could attach it on there. And so this is how my card will look. And um, I did use some white stitching on that. So I think this card is so cute and with the bows. It's very cute. So, well, thanks for watching.